What is the universe expanding into? Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered, what lies beyond it all? If the universe is expanding, then what is it expanding into? Is there an edge? A border where space itself ends? Or is the universe stretching into some vast cosmic void we can never reach? Today, we're diving deep into one of the most mind-bending questions in science. Where is the universe expanding if there's nowhere outside to go? But by the end of this video, you'll see that the answer isn't just strange, it completely reshapes how we think about space, time, and even existence itself. The Expanding Universe Let's start from what we do know. The universe is getting bigger. Every second, galaxies drift further apart. Not because they're flying through space, but because space itself is stretching. It all began around 13.8 billion years ago with the Big Bang. Not an explosion in space, but the rapid expansion of space itself. Imagine dots drawn on the surface of a balloon. As the balloon inflates, the dots move apart. None of them are racing through the air, the balloon's surface itself is growing. That's our universe, galaxies carried along by the stretching fabric of space-time. The observable universe. But here's the twist. We can only see a tiny portion of it, what scientists call the observable universe. Because light takes time to travel, we can only see 46 billion light years in any direction, the limit of what's reached us since the Big Bang. Beyond that, darkness. Not because there's nothing there, but because the light from those regions hasn't had time to reach us. It's like standing in a fog that only clears as fast as the speed of light. So when we talk about the edge of the universe, we're really talking about the edge of visibility, not the edge of existence. The what's it expanding into trap. Now comes the paradox. If the universe is expanding, what is it expanding into? Our brains crave something outside the edge, like an ocean needing a shoreline. But that image is misleading. Space isn't expanding into a pre-existing void. It's the void itself that's stretching. Think back to our balloon. There's no outside on the surface itself. The dots move apart, but stay on that 2D skin. Likewise, our universe could be the 3D equivalent, expanding but not into anything else. The outside doesn't exist in any physical sense. And here's where things start getting really weird. Scientists believe there are two main possibilities. One, the universe is finite but unbounded, like the balloon's surface, it curves back on itself. Or two, it's infinite going on forever in every direction. If it's finite, you could, in theory, travel far enough in one direction and end up back where you started. If it's infinite, there's no edge at all. The expansion just increases the distance between everything endlessly. But in either case, there's no outside. The universe isn't growing into a space, it's creating more space itself. Let that sink in. When the universe expands, it's not moving through space, it's making more of it. The fabric of reality. Einstein's theory of general relativity tells us that space and time form a single flexible fabric, space-time. Mass and energy bend this fabric, and the expansion of the universe stretches it. Here's a thought experiment. Imagine a loaf of raisin bread in the oven. As the dough rises, each raisin moves away from all the others. From the perspective of any one raisin, it looks like everything else is racing away. But really, it's the dough between them that's expanding. No raisins are heading into the kitchen, they're just being separated by expanding bread. Now, replace raisins with galaxies in dough with the fabric of the cosmos. That's the universe. So where's the center? If it's expanding, shouldn't there be a center? A point where it all began? 
Not exactly. Everywhere is the center, depending on your point of view. When you inflate the balloon, every dot sees all the others moving away. There's no special location where the Big Bang happened because it happened everywhere all at once. Every corner of the universe was once compressed into that single state of unimaginable density and heat. So when we ask, what's beyond it, or where's the edge, we're asking questions that space itself doesn't allow. But there could be something beyond. Other universes, perhaps? Some cosmologists think so. The idea of a multiverse suggests our universe might be just one bubble among countless others, each expanding within a vast cosmic foam. If true, then our universe isn't expanding into nothing, it's expanding within a higher dimensional reality we can't yet perceive. Others argue that even this idea is just our human intuition trying to fill a void we can't comprehend, because outside may have no meaning when you're talking about everything that exists. Whatever lies beyond the horizon, it's forever out of reach, at least within our current understanding. So what is the universe expanding into? Maybe nothing, maybe everything, maybe something we can't yet imagine. The truth is, space isn't a stage where matters move. It's part of the play itself. And that stage is stretching, carrying galaxies, stars, and you, further apart with every passing second. When you gaze up tonight, remember this. You're just looking into the universe. You're inside it, moving with it, part of its expansion. Every atom of your body is riding the waves of creation carried along by the same force that shaped time itself. And maybe that's the most beautiful part. The universe isn't expanding into something else. It's expanding into itself. If this journey through the cosmos sparked your curiosity, hit subscribe for more of our cosmic explorations and keep asking questions. Because in a universe still growing, the biggest frontier left to explore is understanding it.